a documentary over a day in the life of a 15 year old. Now, I'll be showing you my friends, what I do every day, because I want to look back when I'm older and see what life was about in 2002. Cars come by, so me being 15, I can't smoke. All right, he passed. Good. I think it was the cop. Fuck. Anyway, I can't do shit. I'm on probation for fucking pot. Can't drink. I'm not supposed to be smoking. Can't smoke pot. My friends I'm going to show you is my cousin Luke. My best friend Courtney. And my girlfriend Brandy. And I'm making a whole tape about it so you can watch me smoke I guess. Smoke like a dork. I know, but fuck it. Right now, since I don't got video evidence of this, what I kinda do, but not with me, so fuck it. Since I don't got video evidence, I'll just tell you a little about myself. Okay, a few years ago, the accident happened. I'll never forget that, so I shouldn't even put it down on tape, so, uh, I was 300 pounds about seven months ago, now I'm 145 pounds, I used slump best to lose all the weight, uh, let's see, I got sent to Ozora, I'm on probation for six months, I got a tracker who comes over every once in a while and get him anyways. Um, my sister Tanya, I'll put her on this tape. Excuse me. Times two, ditto. But, uh, my sister Erica, she's in that case. She got some bipolar disorder. It messes with their head. She, she's fucking off it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure Tanya's all there, but at least she's smart, so that's good. Uh, shit. I got a nephew, Michael. That's Tanya's. And her name's Kaylin. That's Tanya's. And Eric and Gary have Caden. Uh, yeah, so. We'll see them too. Oh. I don't know if this song is going to record me tonight because kind of stupid with just me, I guess, but this is how I'm starting to tape out, so, it's time, my document, I'll probably make more than one tape, most likely, because, because I want to capture the moment, you know, sounds corny, but, I don't want to be like fucking 40 years old and have most of my memory gone to pot and not be able to remember when I was 15 and stuff so uh, my mom knows I smoke she's the one who busted me I went to school because I got drunk the night before from vodka and uh, the cop wanted to take me home because all the crypt kids said that I uh, had a hangover. So, by the way, I'm talking weird because I just got my tongue pierced like three days ago. So it impairs my speech, but I don't give a fuck. But uh, back to my story. Uh, so he drove me home. 
and Miss Peck, the school counselor, said that some of the kids have been saying I'd smoke pot, and I was smoking pot three times a day, every day, so that's a lot. And I used to, I was coming to school how, like, all the time. And, but, uh, he came over to the lab and asked to search my room. And he got into my drawer, and the dumb fucker, he picked up my pipe, and he looked at it, and he set it back down. Because he thought it was an asthma inhaler. And my mom was standing right there. And she said, uh, okay, fuck. That's the cop. Better put that away. Anyway, she was standing right there and she's like, do you know what that is? It's a pop pipe. And the second she said that, I, I walked through the house and we have a bird in its cage. And, man, I punched that son of a bitch and knocked it over. And I ran downstairs and sat down the pool table thinking about what I was going to do. And, uh... It just freaked my shit out, so he ended up putting me in handcuffs and driving me down to four guys to the police building, police LEC, whatever. And he had the people from Eldora come and get me. They had me chained up so that they had my legs handcuffed to my hands behind my back actually and it sucked and when I got there oh, fuck it's almost two o'clock in the morning but uh, when we got there uh, this guy made me put the de-lousing shit on my cock and, and under my arms and on my hair watch me take a shower and he looked up my ass and he made me look, my, he looked at my mouth and stuff, and I uh, can't believe it, the fucker looked up my fucking ass, fuck that. But, uh, anyway, then after that, I had to take a shower with three guys, and there was this black guy close to seven feet tall. That fucker had a three foot dick, I swear to God, and he was looking at me weird. I was scared he would rape me. And that would fucking hurt like a bitch. But I'm not gay, so fuck that. And, I don't know. Um, so after the shower, I was just unlocking the home. And the only thing they let you do is read romance novels. So I was like, fuck that. So I was laying down in this fucking metal cot in a fucking stone room with a metal toilet. And... Uh, it was fucked up. So, uh, anyway, the next day, oh yeah, and for fucking lunch, they served this greasy ass food, so I wouldn't eat it. So all I had for lunch, well, the whole time I was there, the whole two days, or well, roughly two days, I had one glass of, of fucking milk, so that's all. And, I don't know. It sucked, but I finally got out. Now I'm on six months probation with a probation officer, tractor, all that shit. But I'm really cold, so I'll finish this documentary. Maybe tomorrow. It'll probably take about a week or so. So I'm gonna go inside tomorrow. And you guys will meet my girlfriend and my girlfriend Brandy. And, uh, Courtney, she's my best friend, but Luke's up in Fort Dodge with his friends smoking weed and getting drunk and shit, because, uh, it's close to New Year's, so he always does that, so, <laughs> anyway, I'm going inside. Peace out.